last time on Ace of Vegas, we finally redeemed our free win slots room reward. Now, it's time to see what it actually looks like. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there spinners and sharks, Ace here and I hope you're doing well. Now for today's video, we're actually going to go ahead and go back to the Wynn Hotel and Casino. You guys have seen what it looks like during the lockdown. So now, here's the time to see exactly what the room looked like. So we're going to go ahead and try the $20 technique here, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a linear room upgrade or something to that effect. Hey guys, Ace Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. It's quiet here, a little too quiet. So for today, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know how well things are going to go at the registration desk over here. Since it's pretty quiet in there, we're going to go ahead and try the $20 technique and see if we can get ourselves a little upgrade action. Let's get started. So I was actually met with quite the pleasant surprise when I checked in. So initially, I was booked in a Win Deluxe King room, but when the clerk took a look at my ID and determined that it was my birthday, he decided to go ahead and kick me a new room for free. So he got me on a high floor with a strip view and upgraded me to a panoramic room instead of a standard deluxe room. Normally, it would have cost me about $100 more, but he figured, hey, you know, man, it's your birthday. We'll go ahead and take care of you. And I didn't even have to offer him the 20 at first. I ended up just passing it to him at the end of the whole thing. Wasn't sure if he was the boss, so I just told him, hey, man, you know what? If you're the boss, you just go ahead and pass this over to your favorite person. And if you're not, hey, thank you for doing that for me. So I didn't even need to make a $20 sandwich, and I still got the upgrade, which is apparently a rarity with win, especially when you win at win slots. All right, guys, so we got our win room key over here, so all comped through win slots. Uh, while it was in the neighborhood, though, I thought I'd go ahead and try that $20 technique. I figured, hey, you know what, it's my birthday. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. So my check-in guy said that he was going to go ahead and do a little something special for me since this is my birthday there. Didn't charge me anything, which was pretty dope. I was expecting to pay an upgrade fee, but didn't end up having to do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what's, uh, what's going down once we get up the stairs. Spinners and Sharks, we're looking for room 5759 here. So let's go ahead and take our win room key now that we've arrived and track it down. So 5759. Looks like it's going to be towards the end of the hall over here. So 16's that way, 39's that way. And let's go ahead and go down these win halls over here. These are some pretty halls over here, I'll tell you what. Very nice. Another thing I might go downstairs and sign up for a red card. Just thinking about it, I don't actually have a win red card, so that would be interesting to get, just so I have something to kind of juxtapose the uh, M Life Pearl. I think I'm a Pearl this year. I didn't uh, spend a lot of time gambling last year. 57 and 59 should be right about here. Alright guys, well, let's go ahead and give it a nice little tap and see what's in here. Whoa. Alright, let's go ahead and get a little bit of light. This looks like we've got a privacy light, a service light. Let's turn them all on. Oh, and of course, it opens up the whole suite over here. Nice. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what the uh, whole room looks like. And looks like we got some stuff going on in the bathroom. Yep, we got a stand and shower in here. So closed. It's one of those kind of half showers, so you lose a little bit of the heat up top, but not too bad. And we got the wind conditioner and all that. And we also got the tub over here. I'm not going to do that weird card thing where I drop the card. I think I did that with Mirage, and I don't remember why I did that. We're not doing that sort of goofy stuff anymore. And then we have his and hers, or hers and his, and hers and hers, or his and his, or whoever wants the, whoever wants these sinks over here. So these are available for everyone. And of course, we have the uh, water closet. That's from my buddy Matt at home, water closet. Because well, uh, he knows how it is. And you have a lovely uh, painting to go with the phone. 
and is of course fully stocked with toilet paper in case anyone was wondering if they were a little worried about it. That's just the bathroom, and yes, there's a TV in the wall over there, don't question it. Alright, let's have a walk about with the rest of the room. And, whoa, look at the mirror on this one over here. <sighs> That's a thumbnail. <laughs> that is a thumbnail. And then of course we turn around and we have the, uh, oh, we got like a walk-in size sh um, yeah, walk-in size closet back here. Ironing board, extra linens up top up here, and then you also have your iron with the ironing board. They off a chance to lug your Drax, it's fancy. And then, of course, you know, you got the hangers and in-room safe. Is this large enough for my laptop? I think it is, yeah. That's good for one of those. So let's go ahead and check that out and figure out where this music's coming from. All right. So it looks like we've got a nice, uh, nice king-size bed over here. I think this one's a bit better than the deluxe king we're expecting. And then it also looks like we've got ourselves another digital alarm clock over here. Change the temperature, change the lights, the drapes, and all that. So just like at Aria, which is really cool. And then it looks like we've got a standard alarm clock over here. I don't think I see an Alexa unit. I think the Alexa units might be in the standard rooms, but this is a step up. So that might have changed things. Oh, actually guys, turns out Alexa was hiding around the desk over here. Alexa! Play Lincoln Park. Getting Lincoln Park Station from iHeartRadio. Of course you would. Hey Alexa, on second thought, play Bruno Mars. Getting Bruno Mars Station from iHeartRadio. Now that's more my style. So I had to turn off that music over there for copyright. <laughs> Did not want to risk that. But nice little nightstands over here with great drawers. And that's on either side too, so... As for you and your spouse, or whoever you're hanging out with in here, I don't judge. Lovely little sitting area as well, too. And then, of course, we got the nice modern art on the walls over here. So you get a good sense of everything. So. Desk over here in case I want to do some work. A couple uh, chairs over here in case I want to entertain. And then they have the mini bar over here, a couple proper glasses, because I want to have a cold one, make a cocktail or whatever. And then you know what it is, the mini bar. Although I might I might indulge a little bit and get the gummy butterflies just because they're gummy butterflies. Alexa's gonna go ahead and read me Jurassic Park while I'm checking out the mini fridge over here. So these are standard drawers over here right below the television. Good stuff. And then when you check out the rest of the mini bar, it's under here, mini fridge on this side over here. If you need medication or you're diabetic, go ahead and give them a call downstairs. Um, according to HIPAA, they can't push you on it, uh, at least as far as I understand it. And then they'll go ahead and run you up a mini, uh, mini fridge for free. But this one that comes in the room apparently opens from this side and offers lots of probably overpriced uh, beverages. Also temperature controls over here. And then we have a gorgeous view of the strip over here. I mean, look at this. Uh, now you can almost see how quiet it is proportionately. Now we're center strip over by TI and Mirage and Palazzo. So needless to say, this is the hub of activity and it's a bit quieter than what I'm normally used to. I might pop by the pool later just to go ahead and see how things are. But yeah, I got the Sands Expo and everything is looking pretty cool. Slightly overcast, but very clean. Uh, a couple little water spots on the uh, on the windows here. But I know that Vegas has had some rainfall, so that's uh, that's not an absurd thing. Also, really high floor. We're sitting at uh, floor 57 right now, so this is great. Digging it. But you can see, yeah, just the whole rest of the strip, because unfortunately this is basically where the strip stops. <laughs> um, at least for now, at least until we get uh, Resorts World finished, and you, yeah, you can just see all the way down High Roller and everything, Caesar's Palace, just kind of off the corner there. Alright, but this, this is our entire view of the room, good times. So if you're interested, this is, uh, this is what I ended up with. 
after playing win slots here um, during the Corona Crisis. All for free. Not a bad deal. Alright, my spinners and sharks, so it's time for me to go ahead and take a break, and I think I might actually fill this tub up and uh, enjoy the quality of a good soak. So until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva